Bia France and talk with United Nation to conduct a referendum for the people of Bia France to determine their continued existence in Nigeria. Hello, great viewers. Welcome to my novel channel. According to the news of today, IPOB is in talk with United Nation to conduct a referendum for the people of Biafra to determine their fate, their existence in Nigeria. Going forward, the United Nation is going to conduct a referendum for the people of Biafra to determine their fate. And I believe it is real time. The Biafran people have suffered so much. And if this news is true, I believe it is a welcome development. Because the suffering and cry of Biafrans has got into Almighty Jah. The world knows that Biafrans committed no crime. For asking for a freedom. The world knows that Biafrans committed no offense for asking for freedom. The world knows that Mazen Namde Khan is not a terrorist but a freedom fighter who has come to liberate his people from the hands of the enemies. Who are the enemies? The enemies are leaders. The enemies are not Yoruba people. The enemies are not Hausa people. The enemies are not Fulani people. The enemies are not Niger Delta. The enemies, the enemies are not Igbos. Rather, the enemies are those oppressing both Igbos, the Flanis, the Aosas, the Jaws, the Dos. These are the enemies. And they are called the leaders of this contraction called Nigeria. They can do anything possible in collaboration with people outside to commit any crime against humanity, against human, humanity. These are the enemies. God in heaven, we pay them back in time to come. They have every weapon they need. We had none. Not that they are more powerful than us. Some of us are learned more than them. Some of us even know how to use the arms more than them. Some of us can withstand it. ten of them in a time. But top of that, we continue to keep quiet. Because why? Because we do not have the weapon they have. But we will never stop talking about our freedom. We will never stop talking about our right. We will not stop. We will never stop talking about Mazen and the that they have kept in DSS custody for so long. God will be our witness because we will never stop. Go on and watch the video and uh, stay cool as you watch. Remember this. Cheers. The indigenous people of Biafra on Tuesday claimed to be in talks with the United Nations to hold a referendum for a sovereign state of Biafra. In a statement by the group's media and publicity secretary, Ima Powerful, the group is making efforts for the referendum any moment soon, adding that residents within the Biafra territory and those living beyond the boundaries of Biafra will be able to determine their own fate. The group expects the United Nations to supervise the referendum and are calling for freedom for all and not just for Biafrans alone. I mean, this is another, what do you call it, Brexit? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> what I mean, how is it possible to have a sovereign state without any form of, you know, partition? I mean, I would like to know, how does that work? It's possible. Okay. You can have, these are called, there are different types of referendums. Mm. These ones are called independence referendums. And an independence referendum does not actually need the consent of the national government. Mm -hmm. What tends to happen is if there's some kind of separatist movement, and that separatist movement 
get support, maybe at an election, they can now use that momentum to demand a referendum, not even of the national, or in our case, the federal government, just of their own people. Okay. They put a question on the ballot and people answer the question and they vote. And the United Nations will not call a referendum. Every country has their sovereignty. The United Nations will supervise, they'll observe if they're told to, they'll monitor a referendum if they're asked to. The United Nations is also relevant if the referendum succeeds and maybe the national government doesn't want to apply, you know, the results of the, of the referendum. The United Nations can come in and, and recognize that country as an independent country to okay. give that referendum credence. So, yeah. So then what happens to the people that are not in support of the sovereign state of Biafra that are in that territory as well? What happens I'm speaking to... hypothetically. Yes. The referendum might not even happen because, like I said, it usually happens on the back of a popular movement. There has to be some momentum. You can't just wake up and have a referendum. Like if there's an election, for example, and let's say, I don't know, a particular political party, a separatist party, wins all the states, then from there you can now use that momentum to call for a referendum. Right now that has not the indigenous people of Biafra on Tuesday claimed to be in talks with the United Nations to hold a referendum for a sovereign state of Biafra. In a statement by the group's media and publicity secretary, Ima Powerful, the group is making efforts for the referendum any moment soon, adding that residents within the Biafra territory and those living beyond the boundaries of Biafra will be able to determine their own fate. The group expects the United Nations to supervise the referendum and are calling for freedom for all and not just for the Afrans alone. I mean, this is another, what do you call it, Brexit? Yes. <laughs> what, I mean, how is it possible to have a sovereign state without any form of, you know, Partition. I mean, I would like to know, how does that work? It's possible. Okay. You can have, these are called, there are different types of referendums. These, mm. are, these ones are called independence referendums. And an independence referendum does not actually need the consent of the national government. Mm. What tends to happen is if there's some kind of separatist movement, and that separatist movement get support maybe at an election, they can now use that momentum to demand a referendum, not even of the national, or in our case, the federal government, just of their own people. Okay. They put a question on the ballot and people answer the question and they vote. And the United Nations will not call a referendum. Every country has their sovereignty. The United Nations will supervise, they'll observe if they're told to, they'll monitor a referendum if they're asked to. The United Nations is also relevant if the referendum succeeds and maybe the national government doesn't want to apply, you know, the results of the, of the referendum, the United Nations can come in and, and recognize that country as an independent country to okay. give that referendum credence. So, yeah. So then what happens to the people that are not in support of the sovereign state of Biafra that are in that territory as well? What happens I'm speaking to... hypothetically. Yes. The referendum might not even happen because, like I said, it usually happens on the back of a popular movement. There has to be some momentum. You can't just wake up and have a referendum. Like if there's an election, for example, and let's say, I don't know, a particular political party, a separatist party, wins all the states, then from there you can now use that momentum to call for a referendum. Right now that has not...